hardship stemming from nature or harsh climatic conditions is something more than 40% of Kenya's populations living in the arid and semi-arid areas are accustomed to. The areas are prone to drought. Many of the communities occupying these areas are pastoralists. Their animals are their lifeline. The value they attach to their animals is bigger than any other asset. However, year in, year out, drought, a natural but manageable and predictable cyclical occurrence, has always impacted negatively on their lives and livelihoods. The frequency and seriousness of drought appears to be increasing every other year. Communities' traditional coping mechanisms like seasonal migrations from drought-stricken lands to areas of plenty can no longer hold. Kenya Drought Cycle Management Program, a Dutch postcode lottery funded project through the Catholic Organization for Relief and Development Aid, CordAid, supports interventions that enhance communities' capacities to cope with drought. We believe drought is manageable. A drought is a key hazard and a major concern for most governments in the region and for the communities as well. It's also a major concern for humanitarian agencies. And there also exist practical models like drought cycle management model, which can help in the management of drought management initiatives. Through the principle of doing the right thing at the right time and by way of partnerships with local organizations working in eight arid districts in Kenya, CordAid has popularized the drought cycle management approach, DCM, on a pilot basis. CordAid have also partnered with European Commission Humanitarian Aid Department, ECHO, to fund drought emergency and preparedness projects in these districts. Uh, DCM is uh, a strategy and also a model for drought management initiatives. So it's about planning for drought situations prior to its occurring or developing into emergency proportions and during the emergencies itself and post-emergencies during recovery. During periods of severe drought, CordAid has provided emergency aid in form of essential medical supplies, slaughtered animals and distributed the meat to vulnerable households and provided water relief. Initiatives for Kenya Drought Cycle Management Program revolve around prevention, preparedness, mitigation and capacity building with the aim of reducing communities' vulnerability to drought. The Dutch postcode lottery grants in the period of 2005-2007 have enabled CordAid partner organizations plan and implement activities that systematically integrate the DCM model in their respective interventions on water, food security, natural resource management and health sectors in addition to capacity building. Pastoralist Integrated Support Program, PISP, is one such partner organization to CordAid working in the dry Marsabit district of northern Kenya. Nothing much seems to grow here apart from rocks. These are the same rocks PISP uses to harvest water. Together with other water harvesting technologies like storing surface runoff rainwater in underground tanks, PISP has increased water availability and improved its accessibility during the dry seasons. More than 300 households now have water that can last them for eight months. In addition, the tanks serve as storage for water relief during severe droughts and periods of emergency. Emergency periods also require immediate support to the few fuel-driven boreholes. 
Burgabo Emergency Borehole supports 3,500 persons and 50,000 livestock at times of drought. The DCM program funding has enabled PISP meet running and maintenance costs ensuring lives are not lost. This community has been living with drought. Normally they have a, what they call timeline. So when you go through this timeline, you'll be able to know which year is drought, which year has a lot of rain, which year has a, an outbreak. So from here now, we can be able to plan adequately and be able to save situations. So we prepare in time so that we intervene and we save life. 200 kilometers away from Burgabo, life goes on. Livestock and humans in this part of Marsabit can now afford to have water all year round. PISP has constructed some 32 sand dams along the riverbed which store water during the rainy season and improved 58 shallow wells, commonly referred to as singing wells. <laughs> Due to the sand dams, water remains trapped longer in the sand even when the riverbed is dry, leading to higher levels of the pre-existing water table. With the increase in the water table of the, the whole area, with the impact of the sand dam, the recharge of these shallow wells will be enhanced. Sand dam construction is quite simple and economical. A trench is dug downstream from the shallow well location and a rock and cement barrier constructed to create an impermeable barrier. PISP also focuses beyond sand dams. To ensure continuity in school activities, they have constructed below and above the ground water tanks to harvest rainwater. Formerly the children are going to the shallow wells to get the water. But uh, nowadays, because we, after we go to these uh, underground catchments, now the children are not going in the evening to fetch water after classes. They are continuing with their studies. So because of now uh, continuing with their studies, the performance has also improved. The future looks promising. PISP is still focused on exploring other suitable rock catchments locales within the district to establish new water points for the community.